Hey guys, so we've done the bottom of the house and now I'm going to do a tour of the upstairs of the house. One little thing just to mention before I take you upstairs, ooh, that sounds rude, is that this house is one of our, ooh, like how many houses have I had? It's one of our later purchases basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, I didn't graduate from uni and come straight into this house. We've both built ourselves up to be able to have a house like this. Um, I hope anyone doesn't think that by doing these sort of videos it's me showing off. It's not that at all. I just love doing YouTube and people seem to be interested in different aspects of my, um, my home life because that's what I blog about. So it's just a little tour to show you our house. I started off, um, my first property was a basement apartment. That was years and years ago with our previous partner. Um, then we moved to a townhouse in um, an estate, a new estate where I used to live. Um, after we split up, we sold the house and I, saw, um, I sold, I rented loads of other little houses. So I had like a little two bedroom house, um, lived on my own for a bit. Then I met my husband and we rented um, two houses together before we decided to buy this house. Um, he's also got a property in Birmingham as well. He's got an apartment in Birmingham. Um, so yeah, please please don't think this is like my first ever purchase. It's not. Uh, we've saved really, really hard. We work really, really hard and we've got an amazing family. So it's a combination of all of that. So yeah, pl please don't think this is me showing off. <laughs> so let's go and take you upstairs then guys. Okay, so we've done the downstairs. Now I'm gonna take you on a bit of a tour of the upstairs. So we've painted the banister gray, and then up here, which we do need to paint gray as well, is some pictures, which are of like a spirally staircase. Um, I actually had them a while ago from um, a previous property that I had, and I really like them. I think they're great for staircases. They just need to be painted. So this is um, one of our window sills. Um, so we've got a couple of bits from Debenhams, which I absolutely love the colour of. A Soul diffuser over there. So that one is the Soothe one. Then I've also got a picture. Um, this picture frame is really cute, really, really lovely. Another little rose gold thing. And then another little rose gold lantern. Uh, this was just from B&M. And then, I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath from walking upstairs. How bad is that? So <laughs> these pictures are from XLR Prints on Instagram. So they go really well with the little bits and bobs that I've got on the side. Just a little pattern there. And then a famous Marilyn Monroe quote, what if I fall, oh but darling, what if you fly? And then another little picture there. This wallpaper I absolutely love as well. This is from Home Base, and it's basically like a fawn colour with the rose gold in the ridges. So I really like that. Quite a big pattern, but I think it's lovely. So that's the hallway, and um, then or the landing. Sorry, this room I featured in its own video, so I won't go into too much detail on it. But this is one of our spare rooms. So more prints there. Never stop believing. No, never stop dreaming. Happy if I could read. And then this wallpaper I also am obsessed with. So I'll try and find links to all of these things. Love that mirror as well. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. Then the side tables were from eBay and the lamps were just B&M. So you don't have to spend loads of money. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. A lot of these things, I think, look quite expensive, but they weren't. Um, the bed is just amazing. I love this bed. This was from eBay, so I'll try and find a link to that ebay do absolutely brilliant furniture and it's got like these little diamondy bits in there so yeah i think it's fantastic this was from the range the throw and the duvet covers i think were from ebay and um, this was from the glitter furniture company and then most of these were from next um the cushions oh look at this side my husband hasn't made the bed properly <laughs> he um he was traveling so we got up really, really early and didn't want to wake me up, bless him, so he slept in this room. So that's the bed. Um, the cushions at the back were also from Next. Then the matching curtains are also from Next. So these have got the same pattern at the top than the um, ones over there, the Next ones. And then here we've just got some more Next bits and bobs. So this is from Next, the vase, the frame is from Next. Um, that's from next, that's from next. So yeah, 
we like a bit of next. The mirror is just from Ikea. These mirrors are really handy. Really cheap and just a really good full length mirror. That picture was also from Next. It just needs moving in a little bit. So yeah, I really like that. I'm just a massive fan of grey. This dressing table was also from eBay. And it's just really, really lovely. I absolutely love glass mirrored furniture. Um, then we've got another vase. This, this was really cheap. I think this was B&M. So stuff like that, you don't have to spend loads of money on. We've got some photo frames then. These were a gift off one of my lovely members, Erica. Um, that's black tea and cracked pepper organic candle. And this one is the same. And then these are the amazing Twinings candles. So that's pomegranate noir and that is warm apple pie. So really, really like those. Then this was an absolute bargain. I got this from eBay as well, and it's like a little stool, but it's also got storage in. So you can sit on it, but you can also hide things in it as well. So really, really like that. So that is the grey room, the spare room. This was from Next as well. It's called a chandelier, so a cross between a lampshade and a chandelier. So let's go and have a look in the other rooms. It's in two minds whether to show you this room or not. This is another spare room, but we haven't done anything with it. So please, please, please don't judge. This is the tip room. So this is where I just chuck everything. So we've got the picture that used to be in the kitchen um, that we need to do something with. Um, we really love it, so we don't want to get rid of it. And then just some bits and bobs like blue. I absolutely hate that bed set. It's absolutely minging. Um, got a nice mirror though, a crappy wardrobe with just loads of junk above it at the top there. Then, um, this mirror is nice though, let me show you this mirror, um, this is called the Caprice mirror and I found this online and if you go really close up to it, you see it's got like diamante bits and little like sparkly bits in the middle, so I just think that's really lovely. Um, this is where I tend to just dump anything that I've bought, um, <laughs> so either I'm taking it back or I need to try it on to decide if I like it or I'm going to feature it in one of my shopping hauls. This is uh, just where all the laundry and that goes. And then these are the things that I need to put on eBay. So I've got like loads of shoes and stuff and I just don't get round to it. Um, they're things that I need to take back. So this is just a really crappy spare room. Now the reason we haven't done anything with it is that obviously if the IVF works then we're hoping this could be a nursery. So that's the only reason I've not touched it because Fingers crossed it will be a nursery and then it won't look like this. So let's keep having a look round. This is the spare bathroom. So there's a small bathroom downstairs and then there's this bathroom upstairs. So it's just a normal, boring, plain bathroom. Um, it says good morning handsome and then like a little thing there. <laughs> and then it says good morning gorgeous. Um, so it's a bit sort of black and white really. We need to paint the walls white so we haven't got around to doing that yet. A uh, little get naked thing. Um, this is lovely. The, the house came like this, so I think it's just a really nice texture and it's got a nice shine to it. Um, this was from TK Maxx, so it came with the matching toothbrush holder there. And I just got some little Elemis bits and bobs. So these were featured in my skincare video. Um, and they're just some hand cream and face wash and stuff. Um, these were just from the range. And the vase, I think, was like here. Um, and then I've just got a few bits and bobs up here. This soak sign features in one of my videos. Um, and then I just lined my bath with all the different products that I like to use. So, yeah. <laughs> This is where I love to come and just chill out and have a bath. It does have a shower, but personally, I like to use this room for when I'd like to have a bath. Um, the only thing I'm not so keen on is the floor. It's quite dark and I'm very much into more lighter colours. So, But it's okay, it does need painting, as I say. So that's the downstairs. The downstairs? That's the upstairs bathroom. Look across the landing. Um, these lampshades here are from ikea so i've got two of them on the landing and i really like them they're massive um, and they were a little bit long so my dad just shortened the cord for me this is just an airing cupboard and if your airing cupboard looks perfect then i take my hat off to you because mine is absolutely full of crap <laughs> so that's where the ironing board goes and all that sort of thing so let's have a look then 
into my dressing room, dressing room, get ready room, whatever you want to call it. So, um, this mirror here is from Dwell and the one in the middle matches it. Um, it's a nice mirror and it costs me quite a lot of money, um, but it's a fat mirror. So, I hate the word fat, but honestly, anybody that looks in this mirror feels horrified and thinks they've put on like 10 stone. So, I do not recommend getting this mirror from Dwell. And it's such a shame because I love, love, love everything from Dwell, but I hate this mirror. So, don't buy this mirror. Um, I've just got a little like fluffy rug um, that goes underneath it there. So, yeah, that's just there for a bit of decoration. Um, this was just something we bought over from our old house, just so we've got some extra storage for clothes. I just covered the little clear thing there with some marble paper. And then on the top, I just got some little books. So, uh, like a little dictionary from Kristen Dior, a little book of Chanel, and another Vogue Coco Chanel. Um, but then I just went for the cheapy... Um, Aldi candles. So I haven't burnt these, uh, but this is the lime basil and mandarin. This is the blackberry one, and this is the pomegranate noir. I literally can't get over the price of Jo Malone candles, and I can't justify it. I do like other products from Jo Malone, so I've got their cream there, but yeah, I can't justify the candle just yet. So this is a uh, picture that was from our free engagement shoot that we got, complimentary from our wedding photographer. And then we had it on our wedding day and the people that weren't too drunk and could still write, <laughs> wrote a little message. And um, then these, I get asked about these all the time. These are just from Ikea. So I've just got little bits and bobs on the top. Um, that's my fake tan products. Um, I've got a few handbags and stuff. Then I've got um, some more products there, more products there, and more products there. I'm a massive, massive beauty um, obsessive. <laughs> so yeah, this is my dressing table. It's an IKEA dressing table, but again, I've covered it with this marble paper, which is fantastic. I'll find a link for you. Um, I've got all different sort of like bits and bobs on here. Um, I've got my watch. I've got some creams. I've got different makeup. Um, these are letter holders. So don't buy loads and well, don't spend loads and loads of money on things that hold this sort of stuff. Um, because letter holders just off eBay will do exactly the same thing. So they're absolutely fab. So all my makeup like palettes can just sit in there um then i've got more bits and bobs there i've got um an older like makeup thing with loads of makeup in and then i've got this one with makeup in um this is just the matching um mirror so this mirror i do like this isn't hey in my gym stuff this isn't a um a funny mirror this is a normal mirror so i've just got some little <laughs> little pink fairy lights around the edge which were from primark um these little makeup holders, I think I just got them from either Primark or eBay or B&M, somewhere like that. So I just have more of my makeup and stuff there. Um, these were from a company on um, Instagram. So they're just little pots and that's where I keep all my makeup brushes. Um, more products there, more makeup brushes there. Then this side of the um, IKEA thing, I've just got a few more bags that I've got. Um, perfumes and aftershaves and things like that so these are my husband's and then I am a bit of a perfume freak as well I do love perfume so I've got lots of perfume there um, and then like um, a little holder for bits and bobs like jewellery and then some more crap there <laughs> Um, this is just like a little mirrored um, tray, which I really like. Got that from Home Sense, and then just some perfume either side of that. This drawer is where my husband keeps all of his crap, so that just keeps it out of the way. And then we've just got some pictures over here. So this is a picture from one of our holidays. Um, we don't go on holiday very often because we're both workaholics, but when we do, <laughs> um, we do enjoy it. These vase, um, this vase, sorry, was from Debenhams, and it's gorgeous. It's got like a real pinky, like rainbow sort of tinge to it. Um, little balls that were left over from our wedding, and I just love the colours. And then this candle matches the um the vase so yeah you can see the little rainbow colors in there uh, and then this was from my hendu which my sister organized which says kisses for the missus and it's all my friends and they're um, and they're kisses which i love um this is some of the equipment 
that I use for when I film my YouTube videos. So I do most of them in here, which you'll probably recognise the background and stuff. So the ring lights and the stand for my camera, the tripod. So, and then over here, we've just got more pictures. So be your own kind of beautiful. And then like a Chanel inspired one. Um, and up there, I've got another Chanel inspired one. Um, so yeah, that's my dressing room and um, the room that I get ready in each day. The chair was eBay, the rug was next. Um, down the bottom, I will show you this even though it's horrifying. Um, this is where I keep some more of my products um, and then all my injections and stuff, my VF are there, um, other bits of Bob's makeup bags, my Invisalign thing. Um, I got my handbag. I did. I did treat myself to a really nice handbag not long ago. Um, it's not something I'd normally spend loads and loads and loads and loads of money on, but I loved it and it's one I use every day and I will forever. So I got this Gucci box with it and I couldn't throw it away because I thought it was too nice. So inside the Gucci box, I just keep all my hair crap. So my hair dryer, my straighteners, my tangle teaser, my curlers, everything just goes in there and it fits in really, really well. So. That is my dressing room. Um, one last thing, this was also from Next as well. Okay, so let's show you the room then guys. I have been told I say so a lot and yeah, I, I have noticed that now. So <laughs> thank you for pointing that out. I'll try not to say so. This is just a mirror um, that we've got on the landing. So I can't remember where I got that from. I think that was from HomeSense. Okay guys, so the main room, the bedroom, and I keep saying so, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to just keep saying so. Um, so my dressing gown tends to just go on the door. Don't know about you, but that's where I keep my dressing gown. And then if you come into the room, let's get the light on. Um, the light is from Next. One of the bloody bulbs has gone, so that's a pain in the ass because I, can't be bothered to change it. Um, <laughs> these fitted wardrobes, um, we got these from a, 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 like a furniture fitted wardrobe company. Um, and yeah, they were a really good investment. They were, ver they were very expensive. I was really annoyed. I didn't want to spend that much. But fitted wardrobes are expensive, aren't they? So they've got the mirror on them and then they just slide open. Um, some of my clothes are in here. These are kind of like more like my going out clothes. And then Chris has got some of his stuff down the bottom there. So that's one side of the wardrobe. So you do fit a lot in them because they've got the um, two rails. And then if you come over here, this is um, another one of my dumping grounds. So I've got a few bags and hats and things shoved at the top. Then um, some of my clothes are in here as well. There's two rows. This is where I keep a lot of my gym stuff and all my trainers and things like that. Um, I've got more like bags and more like shoes and stuff down the bottom there then um this bed over here oh no let's show you this first so this was from next and i really like that let your dreams fly high with some angel wings and then this bed was another ebay bargain and again it's got the little diamonds in it but the headboard is different the bedding was from Very. Um, absolutely love this bedding. It's like really textured here. And then it's got diamantes on there. And then these cushions are next. Um, so the lamps are also from next. Uh, I'm running out of breath again. And then this is just some stuff that I have on the side which um, helps me sleep. And this was a gift from um, a lady. And I absolutely love that. It just burns like wax melts. Then this wallpaper I really, really like as well. It's got like a shimmer to it and it's textured and it just looks really, really cool. So yeah, I love that. The join though has started to split a little bit, which I'm a bit gutted about. So I need to sort that out. Um, the pictures were from HomeSense. And I just think they look really cool. They're a little bit like what you'd see in a hotel, I think. <laughs> so I really like them. The dream thing at the back, um, Chris already had, so I have no idea where he got that from, I'm afraid. Um, exactly the same stuff on the other side, so the same lamp. Uh, this is where Chris charges up all his gadgets. Then all these mirrored furniture bits here, 
These are actually from Argos um, and they're really good value because they've got the mirrored bits here and here. So all the drawers and stuff that we've got, but the rest of it is wood. So they're not as expensive as this sort of thing normally would be. So if they've still got it, I'll link them below the video. Then more just decorative pieces. Um, this candle was from Home Sense or TK Maxx, can't remember which one. Um, and then we've just got the cheapy Aldi uh, diffuser there as well. A few more bits and bobs from Home Sense. So we like a Buddha. And then a picture from our wedding day. So that's one of my favorite pictures of the best day of my life. Um, look how gorgeous Chris looks there as well. Oh, I love him. So yeah, it was a perfect magical, magical day. And yeah, we had that in our bedroom. Uh, we've got more curtains from Next. So the gray sort of shimmery curtains and then more little decorative pieces on the window ledge. Um, this is a Jasper Conran vase with like little little diamonds in, so I think that's really pretty. Um, fake flowers, so sorry, sorry about that. They really should be lovely fresh flowers, but they're not. Um, and then a picture from Amsterdam when Chris proposed to me, and he got this little um, lock that we put on a bridge in Amsterdam. Uh, and then just a little reminder, all you need is love. Uh, the blinds are from uh, Blinds uk. so we put them down because they're blackout blinds i do struggle to sleep so i really wanted some blackout blinds um so i don't think there's anything else to tell you about the bedroom i think that is everything and um, it does have a ensuite um so let's show you the ensuite hopefully it's not too messy um so the ensuite let's turn the extractor off because i absolutely drives me mental um towel rail uh body fat scales on the floor even though i don't weigh myself very often um on them um just a normal size sort of ensuite bathroom a few bits and bobs on there the mirror that is on the whole entire wall there um is just from ikea and then in here it's got more like nice patterns on the tiles so they did a really good job it's um it's a miller home property it's made by miller home builders and um, they did a really really good job and then in here they've got a massive like a power shower so i'm just trying to get that to focus so i always forget though which bloody thing there turns that one on or that one on so sometimes when i'm in the shower i turn that one on by accident and it literally sprays me right in the face so yeah that gets on my nerves um i don't use this shower very often even though it is probably the better shower um i tend to just use uh the one in the spare bathroom so that and i said so again <laughs> that is the upstairs of our house this is what it looks like at the moment. Um, it is work in progress. There's a few other little bits and bobs to do, but hopefully you've enjoyed that home tour. So that's the end of the home tour of our upstairs. Hope you liked it. And if you did, don't forget to give the video a quick thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching guys. Happy popping.